Nebraska Extension's Aaron Stalker says while vitamin needs in cattle may not usually be a big concern, there is one that could help in certain situations. During our trip to North Platte last week, we talked with Aaron about his research on vitamin A. We started by asking about the general vitamin needs for cattle. Mostly we don't need to worry about vitamins. Uh, either the bacteria in the cattle stomach produce the vitamins that they need or there's enough of the vitamins in the diet but there are a couple of special circumstances where we might need to consider supplementing. Tell me about the special circumstances vitamins such as? Uh, well, usually it's, it's the fat soluble vitamins so A, D, and E. So E, let's start with E. What's the situation where E might be beneficial? It, most of the time cattle don't need supplemental vitamin E but in, a, in special circumstances like if we have newly received uh, calves close to weaning where there's a lot of stress and, and potentially uh, need their uh, immune system needs a boost, then vitamin E can be useful. And, and other times we feed it to cattle during the finishing period to try to improve meat quality. But in terms of a cow-calf operation, out on the ranch we don't need to worry about feeding supplemental vitamin E. What about vitamin D? Okay, D we don't have to feed either for cattle that are spend time outside. They, the That's the sunshine vitamin. and uh, uh, light from the sun causes the reaction uh, in the skin to make vitamin A so cattle get plenty from vitamin D yeah not not much to be had though today Aaron out here what about vitamin A you've been working with vitamin A what's the situation where vitamin A might be needed yeah so that's that's one where it's likely that we could use some supplemental vitamin A on a on a ranch uh, when the grass is green and growing there's usually plenty of vitamin A uh, where it's an issue is during the winter time, after the grass senesces and is dormant, such as conditions like today, um, there's just no vitamin A activity in the grass. Uh, also, hay, vitamin A is not very stable, so it can deteriorate over time. So if we're feeding hay, especially late in the winter time, we might want to consider feeding uh, vitamin A. How much would you need and, and what's the benefit of it? Uh, it doesn't need very much. It's uh, really small amounts. Uh, we measure in international units, which are uh, really big numbers, but it's really small amounts, and it's real easy to uh, put it inside of a supplement, so we can uh, put it in with the protein supplement that we're feeding, or put it in with the mineral. And then another option would be to uh, give an injection, so that there's injectable forms, and that works really well too. Uh, nice thing is the liver stores it, so when an animal eats more than what they need uh, or is given an injection of more than what they need, the liver will store it and then they can draw on that during the times when there's not enough in the diet. And reinforce me why it's important or why they might need it? Okay, yeah, it, has a, it plays a function in a lot of really important processes. One is vision, we think about that all the time, but vitamin A is a really important part of um, keeping the lining of the digestive tract, the respiratory tract, and the reproductive tract uh, pliable and functioning well. So if we don't have enough vitamin A, uh, calves won't, won't gain well, uh, reproduction suffers, and uh, a lot of times animals are much more susceptible to sickness.